YouTube, good morning and welcome back to the channel, Craig Cloud IT Pro, where I make dreams come true. In this video, I want to walk you through and basically make you understand the, the number one question uh, when coming with Sentinel, what analytics should I be using? So grab that coffee, grab that whiskey. You know it's going to get juicy, we do this every video, the juiciness is unreal right now, it's unreal. If you can, drop a comment and a like down below, and also subscribe to the channel. Help your boy out, you know? I need the subs. Really, really, really need the subs. Thank you. What analytics should I use? I get asked this on a daily basis. What, analy what analytics should I be using with Microsoft Sentinel? Um, honestly, I do get asked this quite a lot. And the answer is simple. Uh, there is no answer. Uh, every business and organization operates differently. So what one company might pose as a high severity threat, another company might class as a low severity threat. There is no one size fits all analytics. Yes, you can deploy the Microsoft incident creation rules if you have the products like MCAS, Defender for Endpoint, etc. And this will generate already predefined alerts from each product. But when it comes to like scheduled query rules and custom analytics, there isn't an MVP baseline for all organizations. So when a customer says, I want the MVP, build a Sentinel. You know, you can deploy and enable some data connectors um, and workbooks, etc. But when it comes to like identifying analytics and use cases, um, it's a different ballgame. I'll just give a, yeah, a quick example here. So in this example, we have organization one, okay? So this might have zero resources deployed in Azure, but have a fully native cloud service provider like AWS. So when you deploy Sentinel, you obviously need to think of governance and architecture and security. And once that's been defined from this example, um, you are essentially using Azure as your SOC service. So when it comes to deploying a set of baseline analytics, including detections like the Key Vault or SQL, um, this wouldn't really benefit organization one at all. Um, and also it would have raised awareness as to why is this here? Why have we enabled this? And also me being extremely anal, I'd want to remove an unnecessary analytic. Um, so you can see every organization will operate differently. There are some great accelerators on Sentinel, uh, for Sentinel on GitHub to get you up and running fast and efficiently. Uh, Javier Soriano has created some great all-in-one Sentinel work packages, which are brilliant. But then it also comes down to ultimately, if you're going to take this into a production method, then what analytics are you know you going to be using? Which brings me to my next slide. So know your business. You need to understand your organization's mission. Develop an understanding of what your organization what does your organization do how does it create value where are its success conditions who are the competitors what's the market value geographical placement uh, are there any geopolitical considerations for any of the above uh, what you're doing here is thinking like an attacker how an attacker would and that would be their essential gateway into targeting your uh, organization then you need to kind of understand your environment. So ask yourself from a technical perspective, what are we testing against here? What will make this strange? What are the idiosyncrasies of your organization service, data, transport, security architectures? You know, you need to ensure that you have the most recent and accurate documentation uh, pro uh, present as well. And this will help you get test uh, testable artifacts of your enterprise as well. And then we get to know your threats. So perform terrain analysis, turn the screws on your IT architecture uh, to fully understand, you know, how it supports your organization's mission. Why was this built in the first place? Prioritize assets based on business outcome and recurse into business process capability, assets, infrastructure chains that support them. This enables the threat picture development and uh, actor assessments by helping you understand a probable attack path and targets. So IT operations should be able to help you here, if not hand you a lot of the documentation which has been implemented. 
From there, you need to understand the mission, architecture, and interaction between them all. So you kind of want to turn this table around and ask, how would I attack this? And who would attack this? So consider like APTs, uh, advanced, threat, uh, advanced Persistent Threats. Consider commodity malware and consider the tools and various actors that are known to use and their capabilities. There will be a lot. Don't be underwhelmed. There will be quite a lot. Uh, but based on your prioritization of business critical assets and or controls, narrowing it down to more than two actors mixed in phasing and tempo to both train operate, uh, ops and intelligent functions. So ask yourself, you know, you need to know your controls. So what is happening where security intersects with infrastructure at critical points in the architecture? So do my controls work against baseline threats? What is the full list of controls and capabilities operating in the enterprise? Are they enabled? The output of this will help you produce an emulation plan. And when it comes to defining a detection solution strategy, it really isn't a simple process. You have to understand and know your business. Once you've understood all of the above, then you can start diving into the use case uh, and detection questions. You know, there's, there's quite a few here. Obviously, forgive me on this slide. I know it's not a sexy way to present some some bullet points here, so I kind of went with this. You know, don't don't shoot me in the comments. All right. Uh, so here, you need to be asking the relevant use case questions during a, a typical workshop. So what does this organization do and what's the mission? Refer to the previous slide. Who might want to disrupt it? Research advanced threat actors on MITRE and understand how they exploited other similar businesses and use that knowledge to help you secure your own environment. Uh, are you focusing on in detecting insider threats? So malicious actors may want to steal corporate data or harm the company in some way if there's a disgruntled employee which gets, you know, relieved of duty. Do you have any events where compromised credentials occur regularly? Does your organization detect on account creations? Do you lack defensive evasion techniques? Can you detect lateral movement? What resources do you have in Azure? If you have Key Vault, for example, are you detecting on the keys and secrets that you've actually got? Are there security controls in place? Is Private Link enabled? Is Key Vault publicly accessible? Are you wanting to detect uh, on-premise uh, assets and infrastructure? Do you have PCI information? Are there security controls in place around this? Are you performing detections already on this? Do you have any high-value targets, assets, or critical infrastructure? Is there regular attacks on the C-suite, for example, any of your C-execs, you know, run your questions and results through, through Google as well, and you'll be surprised with what actually comes up. So simply researching for your business and how it operates can really help you yield some good information. Uh, I know I ran through a whole list of questions there. Um, hopefully not too quick. I kind of talk too fast, what well, I've been told that anyway. Um and then we get onto assessment. Love that little slow moving graphic there. So a typical assessment of a use case would be as follows. Is the data available in Sentinel? Yes, great. We can work on a use case. If it's not, well, the data needs ingesting first, and then it needs to correlate for probably a month of analysis to actually generate some uh, you know, useful data to perform us uh, analytics on. Does this uh, behavior that you're looking to exist on-prem? If yes, can we replicate the same analytic? Maybe you have Splunk or ArcSight on-premise, and then we can actually replicate that into Sentinel. If no, then you need to create the analytic and look at all the areas and the properties that are involved around that. What is the response process? Is it an email, Teams, or is it text? Does the response process need to be more complex? If it's a certain type of virtual machine that if compromised could bring an organization to a halt, then let's make sure that doesn't get compromised and it can be you know, isolated to some degree. So once you have all of those questions figured out, you will then look, need to look to understand how a response is going to work for each use case. So I cover incident response processes in another video. I'll just pop that in the right hand corner now. So once you've understood your use case, uh, your response, then you need to test your analytic. I also covered that in another video, 
uh, understanding and mastering analytics. Uh, if you are interested in like a purple teaming video, uh, I could rustle something up for you guys. Uh, just drop a comment down below and if I get enough hell yes, I'll, uh, I'll sort one out for you. Um, so that kind of brings us to the end of the video. Uh, I did talk quite fast. I do apologize. Maybe play it on the slow speed if uh, it really uh, irritates you. Um, so thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, well, that's just fine. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your nan. Cheers.